about cut the act sniffers picked up the aurora you're carrying the second you step through Good to see ya. Looking to get zoned? What? You think this? Yeah. Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. On, give me a break. You're not exactly a top dog over there at the key, now are you? Sending me a rook to handle a job this risky is a goddamn insult. And I'm getting tired of the fleet not taking me seriously. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. Yep, just like a couple of Model A's. Program us, point us in the right direction, and watch us go. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. <laughs> Beneath your feet, genius. It's the lowest level of neon. Jennerdyne and Xenofresh are down there, along with some of the finest cuisine in the city. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. 
Well, well, look at you. You're smarter than I thought. Jennerdine has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. And I suppose you're gonna head down to Jennerdine and kick down the door? Wow, it's so simple. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. Jennerdine's got their place locked down tight. But as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper level exec at Jennerdine. Get your hands on her security pass and you'll have the run of the place. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorica. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Just grab that tech and plant the virus. Should be a cinch. Hey, I'm busy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the Disciples get you. Hey, it's your ass not mine on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside Strikers were awful. With all the muggings and shakedowns, but... Now that they're on the ropes... Kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Well, you'll find them at Madame Sauvage's. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, a chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all. I have a heart. I can't blame a fellow for trying, right? Security's got its eyes on Saburo Okadigbo. That's trouble for the status quo. What? Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Well, like I said, it shut down. Had to cut the entire tour staff too. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you, but I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology.
Of course there are. But so far, Brayson has suppressed most of their work through pure jealousy. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look. Uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, feel free to ask. As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. I hope I can trust you. I think you may be right. Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? It was great speaking with you. Save it for someone who gives a damn. to chat. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. See, you just proved my point. Down no, no, not this again. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? I don't know about you, but that's where I'd rather be. Yeah, I guess you're right. Where the hell did Micah learn to mix it? Not that it's any anyway. of your business. Well, let's face it, but we're very close. Gifted. We're in love. I refuse to let anything bad happen to her. No matter how much trouble she's gotten herself into. Yeah, sure. Tell me another one. You debt collectors are low-life assholes. She's broke, okay? Now get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. The... the Crimson Fleet? Oh my, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out, but... You know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. 
Excellent. Then here is your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. Enjoy your drinks. I like coming here. It lets me forget everything else for a bit. Excuse me, I don't suppose you're looking for a robotics expert, are you? I have a vested interest in getting out of Neon. You're a real lifesaver, boss. Thanks. There's just one thing to discuss before I sign on. I'm conducting some independent research in the space lanes. I won't let it interfere with my duties, but I refuse to give it up while I'm working on your crew. Is that gonna be a problem? Glad to hear it. Thanks for being open-minded. Oh, and don't bother draining your pockets for my salary. I don't really need the money, just the job. That depends. What can you offer? Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. I'm not taking this job for money. I'll work for a dozen rusty credits as long as I'm able to continue my research. Whew, that is a relief. I can't wait to get out of this city. I owe you a favor. Don't think I'll forget it. See you out there, boss. Hey there. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. The Crimson Fleet, huh? This is interesting. So tell me, what does Delgado need with my Pastor Genodyne? How the hell did you find that? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room and you to the facility. I'm warning you, though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. Remember, we never talked. Got it? You good? What's up? If I have to eat fish for dinner, one more. Yeah, Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station.
getting so worked up about it.
Did you read that intra-company memo about overtime getting cut? Yeah, I sure have. Can't say I'm completely shocked, though. Everything is getting downsized around this place. They want us to cover all the work from vacated positions, but they won't pay us extra. Mm. That doesn't completely piss you off. No, of course it does, but instead of getting so worked up about it, buy some Aurora, get zoned, and forget about the whole thing. That's what I get by. Technician Shibata, currently posted to Genadai's R&D laboratory. Personal notation. I'd like to go on record about my feelings about Chief Technician Beiyu. Though most of my fellow employees feel that he's underqualified and incompetent, I feel that they are underestimating him. I've spoken to Brayson at length. And I find him actually to be a kind and endearing person. I think that living in the shadow of his brother, Administrator Benjamin Bayou, has given him a bad name. And that's a shame. From what I can gather, he was placed in his current position against his own better judgment and asked to do the impossible. It's an unfortunate situation. But I will endeavor to get the rest of the technicians in the department to be more supportive.
getting a drink with me at the Astro Lounge after work. Astro Lounge, huh? I was wondering how long it would take you to get down here. If you want the encryption cipher, you're welcome to it. I just don't want anyone getting hurt. No, no catch. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher, it it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I think you could safely say that most of Neon would agree. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. My sensors detected no more Yeah. That would be nice. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Thanks again for the talk. It really helped.
where you are, what kept you. I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. Oh, I will. With or without your help. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. And I'm a businessman. Which means I know when to walk away from a deal. You want to know why? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. It may seem that way, but for every rival I've had thrown into the ocean, I've made two times as many legitimate deals. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. My dear friend, you couldn't possibly offer me enough money to offset the embarrassment that this has caused. I'm afraid you'll just have to reveal your source. Really, that's the story you're going with. Very well. There's a body that Neon Security is going to be discovering very soon. One with concrete evidence that links you to the murder. I'd say you have about one hour to leave this place before you have a price on your head. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regards. Hey, you want to dance? James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems. Now is the time to enhance your life. Here it is. Drive velocity yet? It'll change your life. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you thing at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? Man is priceless. So I've heard. Throwing yourself under the bus like that. Ouch. You are one crazy son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead in the water at this point. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash and I have no way to pay it all back. 
<laughs> That's exactly what I had in mind. I guess you aren't such a rook after all. How much uh, are you willing to part with? Wow, that's way more than I expected. I had no idea you'd be so generous. All right, I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send them to talk to me. Put in a good word to Delgado for me, will ya? Okay, hello. They don't have places like this in Aquila, that's for sure. All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Hooray! You got the conduction gizmo. You did exactly what we asked you to do. Good work, Pat on the head. Are you ignoring me or something? I just said there's an emergency. Oh, it's bad. Real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! Are you looking to start something? <laughs> 